I'm Steve Griffin, executive producer of the film The Last Ounce of Courage. I'd like to share with you some very interesting updates about our film, which released September 14th in 1400 theaters nationwide. As the day of our release drew near last Friday, we were confronted with the realities of the liberal media. Reviews of the film by several nationally known newspapers attacked the film at every level. Critics used very unflattering and demeaning language to describe what they saw and heard. The Los Angeles Times called the people who liked this movie thin-skinned, conspiracy-minded Christians. Based on reviews like this, we did not expect anyone to come see our picture. And then something very unusual began to take place at theaters across the country. It came from Americans who actually saw the picture and heard the film with their hearts. They wept as a young serviceman told why he fought for American freedoms. They broke into applause as the hero of the movie, a small town businessman, reminded us from a building rooftop how we must all be ready every day to protect our freedoms. They cheered as the family was reunited through adversity. They even stayed through the last film credit to recognize the many who have served in our military, some who gave their last ounce of courage in defense of our nation's values. In several theaters, they even broke into song, spontaneously singing, God Bless America. So we found The Last Ounce of Courage is not about being popular among film critics and liberal media, or setting box office records, or being politically correct. It's a film that speaks truth in spite of the critics' negative, self-serving rebukes. It's a film for each American who is proud of their country, our people and its accomplishments. It's about remembering that freedom is never free and that those who defend it must do so at great cost. It's about remembering how God has led our nation for over 200 years and can lead us through these extraordinary times if we choose to let him. And it's about the responsibility we have to preserve those freedoms, especially the right to express our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's about one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So don't listen to the critics trying to get you to dismiss this film. See it for yourself. We need your help. Please consider joining us at a theater near you this week to experience a great American film of faith, family, and freedom.